In today's morning dish, mourners gathered to remember actor James Gandolfini at a funeral in New York. Among them, many of his co-stars from The Sopranos. The show's creator, David Chase, spoke at the service, saying Gandolfini brought the traits of a sad boy to the role of Tony Soprano. And the Terminator is coming back. The original Terminator movie helped to make Arnold Schwarzenegger a star. Paramount says it's planning a new Terminator trilogy. The first is slated for release in July of 2015, more than 30 years after the original. No word, though, if, Sch if Schwarzenegger will be back. The original trilogy earned more than $1 billion at the box office worldwide. Maybe, maybe they'll terminate him. <laughs> I, I didn't I see the follow-up to that. I only saw the original. No, I haven't seen any of them. No, I thought the first one was rather interesting. Yeah. I wonder if people would be so willing to go see Arnold Schwarzenegger after his whole... Yeah, that's true. ...all of his issues. That's true. Yeah. I used to tape stuff from cable TV and give it to my dad. Yeah. Because they didn't have cable TV. And I, I uh, usually sent him westerns. And I sent him the Terminator. And I remember mm -hmm. he said, those were good, but that one, don't give me any more like that. <laughs> He's <laughs> over it. Yeah, he didn't like that one too much. <laughs> well, it's a hard knock life for Cameron Diaz. The actress is joining the cast of a new movie version of Annie. She'll play the ornery orphanage matron, Miss Hannigan. Will Smith and Jay-Z, they're producing the big screen remake. And Jamie Foxx is set to play Daddy Warbucks. The young Oscar nominee, Covenge and Wallace, she stars as Annie. I think that'll be good. Modern take on it. Well, the other movie of it was pretty bad, I thought. With, uh, yeah, I can't think good. of uh, who's in that, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing it when I was younger. Yeah, it wasn't one of the best musicals. Yeah, I liked it. It'll, it's a different take, not having the red hair yeah. and stuff, and it'll be... Well, that's not a big, a big move from bad teacher to Miss Hannigan, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> she's a, she's had the roles, yes, huh? I think so. The woman who inspired Kerry Washington's character in the TV drama Scandal has been hired by Paula Dean to try to repair her image. Yesterday, Target, Home Depot, and drug company Novo Nordisk were the latest to join the parade of companies cutting ties with the celebrity chef. Dean hired the crisis firm led by Judy Smith, which in the past has tried to boost the images of Monica Lewinsky and Michael Vick. And while companies are ditching the star, the public may be a little bit more forgiving. Her new cookbook shot up to number number one on Amazon, and it hasn't even been released yet. The book is called Paula Dean's New Testament, 250 recipes all lightened up, and it moved from number 18 on Wednesday to the top slot yesterday. At the beginning of this week, it hadn't even gotten into the top 1,000. So people are really, you know, taking to it. And it's not even coming out, I think I heard, in October. So they have a So while. I wonder if they're doing that because no matter what she may have said, they love her cooking. Mm -hmm. Or if they're doing that as a sign of support. I, or both, I think. A little bit of both. Yeah, there are those, you know, Facebook pages and yeah. everything wanting her to do well. And it took an appearance by the embattled chef, Paula Dean for the Today Show to beat Good Morning America for the first time in seven months. About 4.8 million people watched the Today Show. The D Morning Dean was interviewed, while 4.6 million people were tuned into GMA. It's the first time Today had a bigger audience since November after Superstorm Sandy. And, wow. you know, it was when Paula Dean, you know, was very emotional and talking to I them. heard it was heated. I missed it myself, but I've heard um, that it was an intense interview. Yeah. And I was about to say, maybe we're talking about this too much, but it sounds like people want to hear about it. Yeah, I think it's just such a snowball effect that all these companies are now dropping her and everything, and that it's very, you know, wow. the, people are picking sides on what they feel. So, well, although the elusive Christian Grey, or anyone oh. for that matter, has yet to be cast for the movie adaptation of Fifty Shades of Grey, the film now has a release date. Universal Pictures says the steamy film will hit theaters on Friday, August 1st, 2014, in North America. I know Zach's grandma bubbles will be excited um, about I that. I bet. I never, I didn't finish the book. I, I started reading either. it and I, I never it. finished it. Me either. I kind of got annoyed with it. And was... Well... Not. It wasn't. Uh, I might check out the movie though. We'll see. Yeah, I think so too. We'll It'll see what this is all about. Who they finally cast? A lot yeah. of people want to know. We'll see.